For a limited time only, head on over to MrMuckCoin.com and use code GS for 15% of all purchases. Not only can you purchase coins, you can purchase players, you can purchase training, you can sell coins for a little bit of extra bread, who can use extra bread, you can get your solos done, you can pay to get your level grinded, you can sit back and relax and let someone do the dirty work for you. Go to the link in the description and make sure you click it and head on over to MrMuckCoin.com and use code GS for 15% off all your purchases. What's going on guys, GS here, and welcome back to a Madden 20 video where today, uh, if you guys, you know, aren't on social media, it's just a very, uh, a very emotional day as we take a look at the two new flashbacks that are up, Joe Hayden and Deshaun Jackson. Um, it's a very, very emotional day, um, and this day will forever be one of the most emotional days um for ever <laughs> as long as madden is out uh this day will always be associated with madden and it's a very 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 sad day um it was one year ago to this day that we had the jacksonville shooting and we ended up losing two players that were at the event which was true boy and spot me please i <clears throat> did not know spot me please too well so a lot of people usually see me talking about true boy but you know they're like you know what about spot me and i i just didn't know too much of him um, I mean, we've spoken in like a few Twitch chats here and there, but uh, outside of that, I, I didn't have any issues with him or anything like that. Um, he was obviously loved, you know, by everyone. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the great man that he was just because we never really talked like that. So, you know, I didn't really get to experience the amazing person, you know, that he that he was or <laughs> that he is. You know, a lot of people are. Um, just, you know, saying how just an amazing person he was, is, <laughs> that he is, and, um, <clears throat> uh, but with True Boy, it's a very different situation, because I've been in contact with him for a while, and, um, you know, I, I told the situation last year, when it happened, but me and True Boy's last uh, interaction was a heated argument. It was a very, very ongoing back and forth on Twitter. Uh, if you guys, you know, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on Twitch, you guys know that, you know, whatever blitzes I find, I give to my Twitch subs to, you know, try and. <clears throat> you know, hopefully help them out, get their game a little better, send some heat, hopefully resulting in more wins. And someone ran a blitz against me that was just disgusting. Like, it was just eating me alive. I figured out how to block it eventually, like in the third quarter. But he was just destroying me with it. Now, because I was streaming, I was able to go back and look at the play, look at the play art, look at the adjustments. So, a week after that, I was like, Yo, let me go back to that blitz out of dime because that blitz was filthy. So I look at him, and this is when tackle locking was still a thing before it was patched. So I find the adjustments, and I have no idea who the player is. Now, if I specifically know, okay, this blitz is being ran by Kiv. It's a Kiv exclusive. This is his blitz. I'm not going to go on ahead and give it out because that's his blitz. Right? If anyone wants to get it, they should go to him to get it however he's giving it out. Um, if he has an ebook or anything like that, because it's not right for me to just, you know, take something from Kiv to to give it out if I know it's his. But if it's ran against me and I have no idea who the quote unquote owner of the blitz is, then there's no way for me to know that. And I just played against some random person on a head to head game. He was running it against me. 
and I lurked it as any good player should. You know, something if someone is using something against you that's very effective, you know, um, try to put it into your scheme yourself. You know, so I break it down, I find it out, and I put the preview on Twitter like, oh, this blitz is coming this weekend, and he claimed he quoted the tweet saying like at least give people their um, like their credit. I'm tired of people doing this, and I'm like. I, I I know you're not saying that I'm stealing a blitz from you. And he goes like, oh, y'all people do it all the time. Yada, 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 going back and forth and saying how I'm like just off at the game and how I've been going downhill and how I'm just bad and this and that. And I'm like, I lurked this off of someone on who played against me. And he's like, sure you did. And we go back and forth and I, you know, go back and say some things and he said some things. And I'm like, I know damn well you ain't think I stole your blitz. Like, you know, how am I supposed to know it belongs to you? And he ends up blocking me because apparently people were just taking his blitzes, putting them out there. And he was fed up of it. He was tired of seeing people taking his blitz. And, uh just giving it out there instead of purchasing it from him as they should. But again, I had no idea who it belonged to. You know, I'm not going to message the guy saying, you know, hey, where'd you get that blitz from to make sure it's okay. I played against someone. He ran it. <laughs> I scooped up the um, the adjustments and I and I was going to put it out. And so we got into a big heated, dis, you know, argument. And I go in and he had like just dropped the Z book. So out of spite of me being upset, I'm like, I'm putting out 10 free blitzes this weekend. Because True Boy's ebook is dropping, it was just all dumb things that he said, dumb things that I said that should have never happened. And um, he ends up blocking me. Now, he ended up unblocking me the following year. Like, it was a whole year I was blocked. The following year where I had said, because I love to watch him play because he was so good. And he, he was so good. Like, there's a lot of people I love to watch play Madden. He was one of them. Uh, Joel is one of them. Joke is one of them. And I, I just love watching him play because he's just he's just that good. And I had put out, you know, who were my... Now, he had unblocked me at this point, but he still didn't follow me. I had I was following him once I seen him and unblocked me. And I said, the people that I want to win, you know, this upcoming tournament. I forgot what tournament it was. Um, I was like, you know, I want True Boy, Joel, and Joke. Like, you know, those are the people I root for. Those are the people I would love to see win. And he ended up following me after that. And um, and I always said that I was going to send him a DM just apologizing. Just apologizing for everything that took place. Me feeling very sorry for, you know. Now, mind you, I was being saying disrespectful things after he had already initiated. But still, two wrongs don't make a, uh, a right. And there was no way for me to you know um, there, there's no right for me to have those actions approved just because I was feeling you know oh he started it so now now it's okay for me to say some things you know and it was a very uh, very like something I was thinking about for such a long time like I'm a DM him I'm a DM him I'm a DM him I just want to know we're on we're in a smooth clean path, you know, clear, not, you know, nothing, you know, because I, I enjoyed watching him, you know, and I remember they were in a tournament and I had put emotes of all the competitors from Tweez to Chaos to Joe to I'm Stevie J. I made emotes of everyone. So when the tournament was happening, you know, they can spam their favorite um pro player and I had one a true boy and he had asked me to get rid of it you know saying people were going to be you know fake putting it out there because not too many people really support him like that and he had asked me to get rid of it so I was like okay you know if that's what you want I got you and then problem ends up getting the true boy emote and people were spamming it during the, the, the tournament and stuff like that but I never got to DM him and then you know the, the shooting happened and it was just awful and we ended up losing two amazing people unfortunately and um, I remember that day because today is also 
my girlfriend's birthday. So um, I, I remember it was her birthday. We weren't together yet, but we were talking. And I remember it vaguely. I was laying down in bed. We were talking. And the news just broke. And we're talking. We're flipping out because we know so many people from our community are there. And then we find out it's True Boy and Spot Me. And I just started break down I just broke down started crying like so badly because like I used to talk to true boy like a lot <laughs> all the time in twitch chats he would be in my tournaments and we would talk all the time and you know to find out that happened it was just awful it was awful and um spot me I've never heard a negative thing about him never and he ends up losing behind leaving behind a wife and I believe a daughter if I'm not mistaken and just a family in general and it was just an awful awful day man but it's one year to the day you know may both of them rest in peace hopefully they uh, it is just a, a rough 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 day in the community um, School officially started today, and I have so much plans of content and everything that I want to do, and today was going to be the first day since they went back to school where me and Tiffany were going to do a contest to see who can pull the most elites out of gold player packs and the loser uh, all this will be you know on the camera and stuff like that and the loser has to be dunked into an ice tub and we were just waiting for school to start because it gives us more time to do things in, in you know during the day and there's a lot of unique stuff we're going to be doing so i know you guys are you know the content hasn't been crazy like that um because we're just waiting for school to start and uh, it started today but today was just a um just a heavy day you know us the community we love them it's uh a day that will forever forever unfortunately be remembered as the passing of uh you know those two instead of it just being a regular day um but you know i love you guys uh you know just rest in peace to true boy and spot me uh two amazing people and uh you know content hopefully we can get this out tomorrow because my sleep schedule has been so bad um just a lot of things going on that you guys know nothing about but i know you guys just want gameplay and content and and that stuff is going to be coming very soon you know madden just came out it's still so early football season is not even out yet so the plans that we have are going to go into effect um soon it's just you know but anyways man rest in peace those two hopefully you guys have yourself a good day and you know for anyone that says prayers out there man go on ahead and sneak in an extra 10 seconds at the end of your prayer man just give prayers to truth family to spot me family because uh it's a, it's it's gonna be a rough day for anyone that knew these terrific people Appreciate you guys for listening. Have a good night.